there are a bunch of online game marketplaces available right now and Epic is here to claim its share of the pie. However, it's not perfect and that can cause some headaches. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Ganero Technology and in this video we're talking about the fixes you can try if Epic Games launcher refuses to open. So if Epic Games is giving you a headache and not running as it supposedly should, uh, here are a few things that you can try out. The first thing to do is to head over to Task Manager. Uh, just right click on the Windows Start menu icon, click on the Task Manager and let it open up. Now in here what we're going to do is that we're going to find a running Epic Games processes. So you can just search for it right here. So if I say Epic Games, as you can see that this is not running in the background. So for context, if I go back out and relaunch Epic Games Launcher, just so I can show you how this thing works. We'll give this a second to load up. All right. Okay. I don't want you on mobile. So yeah, uh, now if I come back to task manager and search for Epic Games, as you can see, there are a bunch of um, Epic Games processes that are in here and running. What you have to do is select this, right click, click on end task and make sure that this is all exited. From this point onwards, you can go ahead and relaunch Epic Games Launcher and you should be good to go. The next thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to delete the Epic Games web cache. Now to do that, press Windows key plus R to open the run prompt, head over inside the prompt and in here I am going to type percentage sign local app data percentage sign. Press enter to open up the folder. And now in here we are going to find Epic Games launcher, which should be somewhere here. Yeah, right here. So we find Epic Games launcher. Uh, double click to open it, head over to saved and uh, you will see these folders called web cache uh, followed by a particular number. Uh, all you have to do is just delete these two folders. Make sure that you have closed Epic Games using the task manager method that I just showed you. Otherwise, you'll not be able to delete these folders, but go ahead and delete them and then restart Epic Games and uh, it should be working just fine. The next step is to disable full screen optimizations and run Epic Games as a administrator. So how do we do that? Press the Windows key and search for Epic Games Launcher. Now in here, click on the open file location button and this will take you to the Epic Games shortcut. We're going to right click this again and then click on open file location once more to get to the actual executable file. Right click, head over to properties and in here, we're going to go to the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked as well as run this program as an administrator. Once these two settings are checked, go ahead and click on apply, then click OK and try relaunching the Epic Games launcher. The next step is to repair the Epic Games installation. In order to do that, press your uh, wind open your windows menu and search for control panel. Just going to open this up. And here you will see programs and features. And here we are. Now in this list, I am going to find Epic Games Launcher, which is right here, as you can see. Now uh, come up here and click on the repair button. Now Windows will try to look at everything that is missing from your Epic Games Launcher, any files that it needs, anything else and then you can go ahead and uh, follow along with the installer to make sure that you get all the files required. Once the repair is done, then try relaunching Epic Games. Next up, it's important to check whether you have uh, updated Windows and updated GPU drivers as these often tend to cause problems with uh, game launchers and video games in general. So to check your uh, video drivers, you actually have two options. You can either go and check them from the NVIDIA or AMD utility that you might have. For example, I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to go ahead and use GeForce Experience for this. Wait for this to open up. If you have AMD, you can use uh, whatever utility AMD comes with. Uh, in this case, head over to the drivers and then you can just click on this check for updates button and it will automatically start looking at whether or not there are updates available for your GPU driver. As you can see, mine is up to date. So we are good to go on this front. What you also can do is you can right click on the start menu icon and head over to device manager. 
we'll wait for this to open up all right uh, in here you can expand display adapters and you will see both of your gpus right here you can just right click click on update driver right click click on update driver to update your gpus driver according to whatever is the latest driver that windows can find this isn't recommended uh, especially when it comes to nvidia and amd gpu drivers as it tends to not find the best drivers possible so i would still urge you to use the given utility with your gpu but if you're in a pinch and you need to quickly check if there are driver updates available you can go ahead and check them from the device manager The next thing is to make sure that windows itself is also updated so press windows key plus i to open windows settings in here head over to windows update and as you can see i have uh, windows updates that i can download and install make sure that your windows installation is as up to date as possible along with your gpu and other drivers as well Finally, if nothing else has fixed your issue, your best bet is to go ahead and reinstall Epic Games Launcher from scratch. Uh, we can do that by right clicking the start menu icon and then heading over to install apps. We'll give this a second to load and here we are. So I'm just going to search for Epic Games Launcher and as you can see, I have both Epic Games Launcher and Epic Games Online Services saved here. I am going to uninstall both of them just for good measure. So what you have to do is right click here, click uh, actually click on these three dots and then click on uninstall. Uh, it will ask you that um, this app and related information will be uninstalled. Are you sure? We know that we're sure. So we're going to go ahead and click on the uninstall button. Uh, wait for the process to complete and then do the same for Epic Online Services. Once you're done with that, you can head over to Epic's official website and download uh, a newer version of the Epic Games Launcher, reinstall it on your system from scratch and that should fix your problem. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if these videos helped you or if you'd like to talk about anything else that's related to tech. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.